Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand transport layer. So, this is the first video of our new section called transport layer. And we will try to understand the objective of transport layer which is process to process communication. So far in our previous videos, we have covered nearly 100 to 120 videos. And in those videos, we have discussed about physical layer, data link layer and network layer. So, from this video, we are going to start our new session, section called uh, transport layer. In this, we are going to discuss about the complete idea about the complete concepts of transport layer will get discussed will get discussed and the main object of the transport layer is process to process communication so what this process to process communication in the previous lectures we have seen that in the in the network layer it is called as host to host communication means for example if a system wants to communicate another system that another system which is located on the other end of the internet will get identified by using the network layer we have cl clearly seen all those protocols and algorithms but uh, isn't isn't it sufficient for the communication no it is not sufficient we have some another challenge that needs to be addressed which is, which will get addressed by using this uh, transport layer uh, objective so let's try to understand this by using a clear uh, real world example for example if you have a machine and on that machine if you are trying to access facebook and uh, uh, where the facebook server is located so it is located somewhere uh, uh, somewhere uh, located somewhere and uh, now whenever we are trying to access so is it the only program is it the only request that is being asked by the facebook server asked to the facebook server are we the only person who is accessing the face facebook server no millions of millions of people are trying to access so the request that we have asked for so that is our request that is what we call it as our process our program so for that program the exact so for the request that has been asked for that program the exact response has to be sent to the exact client whoever asked for it so let's try to understand for example if uh, uh, this is another system this is another system all these systems are asking uh, are trying to access the facebook server so for example if uh, this is the this is the process that has been this is the request that has been asked by this system for example if it is one two three and this is the this is the uh, request that has been asked by two and this is the request that has been asked by three now for whatever the request that has been asked for that request the exact response has been sent back to the uh, client so how do we know that for example, if you are getting millions of requests uh, from those requests uh, for sending the response, how the Facebook know that this is the request asked by him? This is the request asked by him. How can we can address that? So that problem is what we call it as process to process, uh, uh, process to that kind of communication is what we call it as process to process communication. So how that can be addressed is it is done by using port numbers so we will try to understand how that can be solved so the main uh, point of this video is to understand what is meant by process to process communication so as we are having different other applications different other processes different other programs that are running on the server or on the client or on the client so among those hundreds and hundreds of client uh, processes we have to have the communication with the exact process for which the client has requested so that is very important point to understand so for this process if it send the request to this this system so is it a good 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 communication no it is not a good communication so this process the application or the process that has been asked by the client so this process has to communicate with its corresponding process only this is the process for this request so this has to communicate with the corresponding process only the communication should should be between those two exact processes okay so that is what we call it as process to process communication so how that communication is done that we will try to understand in our later coming classes the, the entire whole section is going to deal with that kind of uh, with the objective of uh, process to process communication so hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like 
symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching